With an abundance of lakes, ponds, and swimming holes across the region, a day on the water will be on the agenda for most folks at some point during the summer, as you mentioned. Yes, and uh, something you may want to be aware of is when you arrive to your favorite spot and you may see a warning for something called an algae bloom. You might ask yourself, is it still safe to go into the water? The short answer is no, as Liam Healy explains. Harmful algae blooms, or HABs, have been known to cause illness in both humans and animals after they come into contact with them. These HABs also do much more than just keep you out of the water. They can also be a big detriment to an already sensitive ecosystem. When a, a bloom eventually dies off, sinks to the bottom, uh, degrades and consumes oxygen, and one of the concerns with the consumption of oxygen is uh, creating that dead zone, that anoxic area that can cause fish die-offs, that's according to Brian Duffy from the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, whose primary role is monitoring and assessing lakes across New York. The extreme rain events and runoff events that cause and contribute to nutrient loading of our waterways and as the primary cause of uh, harmful algal blooms. Around Rochester, blooms have already been spotted, with harmful algae being found around Braddock's Bay. Another area of concern is blooms on Kinesis Lake, which provide the drinking water to one-third of Livingston County residents. With more residential and commercial buildup around the lake, the risk of harmful runoff increases greatly. According to Mark Grove of the Livingston County Health Department, the residents of Kinesis have stepped up their efforts to fight back. And really, we, we feel like we've developed a really great network around the lake that people know what to look for. They know how to look for these, these harmful algal blooms and then report them to us. Grove also mentioned the need for more public awareness of the hazards of HABs, saying... Public awareness and outreach is really key for something like this. And to get people thinking about it, that, that's really what we need to protect ourselves, to protect our health. Reporting in Livingston County, Liam Healy, News 8. For an updated list of current harmful algae blooms in our area, including the one at Braddock's Bay, the DEC maintains an interactive map of confirmed blooms, and we have a link to that map on our website.